Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with another narrated Pokemon battle. So, this is going to be a battle where I use Mega Charizard X. It's a Mega that I've been wanting to use recently. I don't use it that often, though. Um, but we're going to try it out here. So, what I'm going to do is lead off with Galvantula. Getting the Sticky Webs up is going to be very nice, especially with some of these Pokemon that are faster, especially Tapu Koko. That's probably the big one um, that I think really really threatens us with its speed so my opponent's going to go ahead and lead off with the Excadrill the one Pokemon that could remove um, the sticky web and I'm just going to go for a hidden power because if I go for a sticky web and this thing goes for earthquake brings me to my sash it could easily just wrap its spin and finish off Galvantula and then I won't have sticky webs so doing it this way that ensures that I will be able to go for sticky webs the next turn and hopefully have them still up as now, yes, I'm going to have my Sticky Webs here, and my opponent's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately, I would have hoped that this this Excadrill would have went ahead and went for Earthquake. That way I could bring something in to threaten this thing out. But, unfortunately, my opponent's going to go ahead and go for um, the Stealth Rocks. And I'm going to go into my Greninja. I'm hoping that will actually scare this out. And if not, then I could do some decent damage to it. And it does scare it out. And now the Caesar is going to come in, and I actually go for Hydro Pump. Um, I know my opponent has a Volcanion, but I feel like it was worth going for the risk. Of course, if my opponent had went into Volcanion, um, I would have been in big trouble because I don't really have a good switch into Volcanion. So my opponent will now go back into the Excadrill. I'm just going to go Hydro Pump again, um, you know, playing super, super risky plays, and both risky plays have paid off. I have completely crippled the Caesar, and I have taken out this Excadrill. So that means if I get rid of Stealth Rocks on my side, there will be no more Stealth Rocks. Um, if I can keep the Sticky Webs up on my opponent's side, it'll be there the entire game. So that's what we're going to be trying to play towards, um, getting Sticky Webs back up. But first, getting rid of the uh, Stealth Rocks. Um, and I also have my Ash Greninja now, since we have taken out that Excadrill, so that's going to be very nice. Um, the, the risky play really did pay off there. Um, my opponent was pretty sure I wouldn't go for a Water-type move, especially not twice because, you know, Volcanion sitting there. But that super risky play, it, it paid off, and now we have Excadrill here, and I would really love to go for a Rapid Spin, but unfortunately, the Halucha is going to come in, and... Yeah, Halucha is pretty threatening towards my Excadrill. It would be pretty nice to have Protect because a lot of Haluchas do carry High Jump Kick. And this one's actually going to go for a Swords Dance, expecting me to go ahead and switch out. Um, I'm just going to Rapid Spin here. Of course, that is also a pretty risky play. Um, I no longer have my Sash on Excadrill. Um, but yeah, now this thing is at plus two attack and a High Jump Kick will completely take me out but Excadrill has done its job um, of course if my opponent did go for high jump kick the first turn that would just made this a lot harder for me but since my opponent did not that's going to make it a little bit easier but of course I'm going to go into my scarfed Staraptor and it's not going to outspeed this thing and unfortunately that was probably not really that great of a play because the unburdened Halucha will outspeed it so here I'm going to go into my Ferrothorn hoping to make my opponent go for a high jump kick and I will protect this turn and it works out of course this thing is still a very huge threat um, I'm very scared of the Halucha and now it's actually going to go for a roost here so we see roost swords dance high jump kick and acrobatics um, so we know its entire moveset and it's pretty scary this Pokemon is actually very scary um, it is at plus two it can hit hard it outspeeds pretty much everything um, you just saw me with a Scarfed Staraptor get out speed. Um, so, <clears throat> now this thing is at plus four. It is setting up on me. And I don't really know what to do. If I just go for Protect on a turn, it, my opponent does not go for High Jump Kick. That's a wasted Protect. Um, so, I'm trying to play around this thing as best as I can. And now it is at plus six. I don't really have something that can come in and challenge this thing down, though. So, that, that's the problem. I'm setting up Spikes. I'm not wanting to go for Protect on a turn that this thing will not go for a high jump kick. I am going Leech Seed though, hoping that that starts putting a little bit of pressure on my opponent, but things are not looking that great for me. 
Here, I'm going to go for Protect. I'm hoping my opponent does the high jump kick at this time, as no, my opponent's going to go for an Acrobatics instead. Honestly, what I'm hoping to do is to get this thing low enough on health that my Greninja could Water Shuriken finish it off. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Of course, it might not happen that way because this thing is a threat and my opponent still has Volcanion who could come in anytime and take any water type move. Um, so now now that I lose my Ferrothorn, um, I've got a little bit more damage on this thing and I'm going to go ahead go for the Water Shuriken hoping that my opponent does not go into the Volcanion and my opponent actually stays in. So that works out for me right there. We have gotten rid of this huge huge threat that has devastated a big chunk of my team. So now the Tapu Koko is going to come out. Of course I don't have a ground type to bring in on this thing. So yeah, I'm trying my hardest to defeat this. I need to keep my Greninja. I'm thinking if there's a Pokemon that's going to bring the victory, it is my Greninja. Um, but now we're going to take a Thunderbolt onto my Galvantula. And Galvantula at 1 HP, it's not going to live that. So we lose our beautiful Galvantula. And now I'm going to go into my Charizard. Now, I did say that Greninja looks like it's my biggest hope. But honestly, I think Charizard might be my biggest hope. If I can get a Dragon Dance and start outspeeding things, Mega Charizard X could turn this entire game around. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, Mega Evolve. I know we take the Thunderbolt pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead, get that Dragon Dance up, and with a Dragon Dance, we will outspeed this Tapu Koko. So now my opponent is actually going to swap out the Tapu Koko, fearing an Earthquake, and bring in the Latias. So of course, I don't know exactly what set this Latias is. It could be a Scarf set, and if that's the case, it's a bigger threat. Um, I'm going to just go for the Dragon Claw, as this ends up not being Scarfed, I guess. Um, so we take it down. So now Mega Charizard is looking beautiful. Um, my opponent has the Volcanion and the Tapu Koko. Neither of those want to take an Earthquake. Plus my opponent also has one other Pokemon in the back, which is that Caesar. If you remember, we did a lot of damage onto it when we had our Greninja up here. Um, but yeah, we have taken out the Volcanion. So even if our Charizard goes down, Greninja looks that much better with the Water Shuriken. Um, so now my opponent will bring in the Caesar, and this ends up being a Mega Caesar. So this is probably the main reason my opponent didn't go into it um, on a switch right there. Um, because honestly, actually, I would have probably went into this thing. This thing is not going to be doing that much because I outspeed it with my Charizard and my Greninja. But even a Bullet Punch, that's not going to do anything. Um, we will finish this off. With an Earthquake, there's no reason for me not to go for Earthquake. If I go for, you know, like a Flare Blitz, it's just going to put a lot of damage back onto me. I don't want to do that. I want to take this thing out and have a nice, clean sweep with our Mega Charizard. So, so Mega Charizard is really doing very well. Of course, things looked very bad for us, especially with the Halucha at plus six, high jump kicking, acrobatics everything and now we have our beautiful Charizard here and this thing actually outspeeds Charizard which tells me this might be a Scarf Tapu Coco maybe I don't know it's pretty fast and we take the Thunderbolt pretty well and that will be one destroyed Tapu Coco so Mega Charizard X actually did a lot of work in this turn the entire battle around where things were looking very bad for us so if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.